I think this exhibition is really um, interesting, more about what they make you think than mm. even what you see. It, mm -hmm. it creates a series of reactions, very strong, I think. So I would like to ask you some questions. And the first one is the, the origin, the idea of this exhibition. And it's fought through data and it's fought through information. And so that became the beginning of the project. And then the, uh, we decided what, to, what we would do is we would start a new book and called The Extreme Self and that we would use the exhibition as a catalyst for the new book. And so, so what was the link with the first book? Did you use some of the theories of the first book? Well, I, I have two things. The first book, the, the subtitle of the book is called The Extreme Present. So this is the term that we invented for the first book. And, um, and that was really looking at this idea that time has become measured in smaller and smaller and smaller units, you know? And so we were then looking at how the transformation of time and the perception of time was also transforming our interpersonal relationships, but also politics and social space and the planet, you know? And, but that, as I say, that book came out in 2015. And then we, in the beginning of 2017, we already knew we were into a new historical period. So the so, so new theory is about the relation to time? That was the first book. This theory, this book, is the, the idea is that the most valuable resource in the world today is not oil or gas or gold. It's how, every, how everybody feels and how those feelings are transformed into tradable data and information. You see? And how did you collaborate, the three of you, how to write uh, a book when you are free? Of course. I, it is essentially an, what I call an infinite conversation or a trialogue between the three of us, which so has been going on send for emails? 12 years. We send email. I mean, we, we sit down when we could sit down. We discuss the ideas. A, um, a, a very important reference this time was a book. Do you know the historian Eric Hobsbawm? He was a, a famous um, uh, Marxist historian, and he wrote a book called The Age of Extremes, which came out in 1994. And uh, it's a book that's very important to the three of us. And so we took the, the chapter titles from that book and we have used that book as a skeleton, ah, okay. and you see, and uh, and again we have updated that to the twenty first century. Hans Ulrich always says that uh, the exhibitions that are remembered are exhibitions that invent a new format, and I do think this is a new exhibition format. Yes, for sure. Because you know, and so. But, but it's more it's more intellect more intellectual than visual. In a way, I could That's I could see a, I, I could see a TV program like that. Yes. Yes. It, look, no, it doesn't absolutely. look like a book. It looks like a TV program in a in 3D. In fact. Well, I'm so glad you said that because I I would love it to become a television program. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's one thing that we've talked about, and I think it would, I actually think it would make a great television program. But, you know, Hans Ulrich just wrote to me actually two days ago because we've been getting more reviews, you know, from um, the reviews have been coming in. And, you know, he said to me, he said, Shimon, it's so interesting that we are getting, he says, it seems that the reviews are, um, they're, they're more interesting because they're writing about an exhibition that is based on a book that hasn't come out yet. You know, so it's like a, it's a sort of, it's like a Russian doll. There are many different dimensions, you know, so sometimes a reviewer will focus on the fact that it's based on a book, but then somebody else will focus on the fact that you said, it's a three dimension, it's like a, 
it's like three dimension it's like walking through three dimensional text space or but something you know like uh, i think it's really in the zeitgeist because if you have seen the shows that uh, rem kulas organized at the guggenheim 